today we're going to be looking at the IPEX UCE application. The IPEX UCE application is a unified communications software that allows you to collaboratively work with other team members. It also allows you to work whilst on the move. The UCE application is available on both desktop, mobile, that includes Android and iOS. When you first log into the UCE application, you'll see this view. This is your favorites and status view. From here, you can see uh, an image of yourself and easily change that. And you can also see the status you're currently in. So green is a uh, status of available, but if I wanted to show my team members or colleagues that I'm unavailable at that time, I can simply pick from uh, a number of other statuses. For this example, I'm going to select busy. If I set my status to busy, now all of my other team members and all of my other colleagues using UCE will see that I'm unavailable. If you'd also like to add a message to say why you're unavailable, you can add this from the box. So I could write at lunch. Now all of my team members will see that I'm at lunch. The screen display below is a favourites screen, so you can add all of the contacts you contact regularly. If I'd like to add a new group, so I want to add some people from the sales team or customer service team, I can simply enter customer service and click save. You'll notice this add an, adds a new group to the top. I can then add any members that I know are in the customer service team. So I can simply right click and say add Harry to customer service. You'll now see that I can see Harry's status here. You can see that he's available and you can also see on the right hand side that there's a green icon uh, for the phone which shows that he's available for voice calls and also a green icon for video which shows he's available for video calling. If he's unavailable for either of these you'll notice a grey video icon or a grey phone icon. The next item we're going to take a look at is the instant messaging or chat. If I click on the instant messaging tab on the left hand side, I can then start a new chat with a member of uh, my team by simply dragging and dropping the user across. You can then begin chatting by writing a message in the box below and hitting send. You can also see previous instant messages that have been sent by double clicking the message box. You'll notice here that I've used the message window to check whether someone is available before I pass a call. I can then make sure they're available in the chat window before I transfer the live call over to them. Next, we're gonna take a look at the memo functionality. So if I scroll down to the memo tab, you'll notice that I can click the edit box and then I'm able to add any members into a memo. Again, simply use a drag and drop method. I can then type a title for this message. So I could say daily tasks. I could then list a number of daily tasks for my team below. Press save. They will then have view of all of these memos when they log into their UC application. If they're currently logged in, they'll get a prompt to let them know that a memo is available for them. This is very useful for team leaders or maybe a manager to share memos amongst the whole organization or just uh, a select team member. Next, we're gonna move on to the call and call log. So from this call screen, you can dial out to any numbers. So simply enter the number in the top menu here and press the call button. If it's another member using the UC application, I can also use the video call function. As well as showing um, all calls in and out of the system, which you can clearly see here. So you've got an outgoing call and an incoming call. This is clearly indicated by a, uh, an arrow going to the right, showing an outgoing call, an arrow to the left showing an incoming call. You've also got red arrows to display missed or unanswered calls. You can also look through your full list of missed calls, full list of incoming calls, full list of outgoing calls, and also rejected calls, which would show any failed calls. Now moving on to the contacts tab. So this front screen on the contacts tab actually shows everyone within my organization. 
So rather than just a list of favorites that you've added, this will pull in everyone who's using the UC or multi-client application on their system. You can also see your shared contacts. So if you've got a, uh, a full directory, you can upload this simply to the cloud system. All of your directory contacts will then show in this list of shared contacts. You can also look at private contacts or add private contacts. If you've got a personal number you'd like to add, simply hit the add private contact button. You can then add details for that person. You can also upload a photo so you know who it is visibly when they're calling in. Now we're going to move on to the conference facility. The conference facility comes as standard with the UC application. So I can simply create a conference and just uh, use the drag and drop method as we have done on the instant messaging and memo tabs. So drag the users you want to start a conference call with. You can give that conference a title and also give that conference a password if you wish as well. You can then press OK. That will invite all of the users that you've moved across into this conference room and it will send them an invite and invite them to join that conference call. Now we're going to move on to the ISMS function. So the ISMS is quite similar to the chat functionality, but it's used for historical message rather than live, uh, live chatting. So the ISMS function works in a very similar way. So you, again, you can drag and drop any users you want to send the ISMS to. You can also then drag and drop any uh, attachments you want to attach so maybe you want to share a document with a group of colleagues and you can also put a message in the content box below this can be picked up at any time when they log into their UC application and they'd be able to view the content and download the attached file this is a brief overview of uh, some of the functions that are available within the IPEX UCE application it's a great tool to collaborate with colleagues and also work whilst on the move. It also integrates with your desk phone as well. So if you prefer to use the uh, UC application, but you like to have a physical hard phone, you can use the application to control your hard phone, which allows you to use all of the same functionality you're used to on a normal handset but you get the added benefit of having a visibility of presence of other users and also the ability to use the other functions like instant messaging memos and ISMS. Mm -hmm.